make them bounce. We are still monitoring tropical depression number 16. Not yet a tropical storm, but we do expect that to happen sometime within the next 24 hours here. Winds are at 35 miles per hour, and we're watching this move to the northwest. And you can't help but notice uh, this cluster of showers and thunderstorms over Central America. We are looking at some significant rainfall, life-threatening flash flooding over areas like Nicaragua, also Honduras, Costa Rica, uh, within the next 24 to even 48 hours here. So the orientation, it's moving to the northwest. Unfortunately, the area it's going to be moving into is favorable for this to strengthen, which is why we do anticipate this in becoming a tropical storm. The official name would be Nate once it is uh, named by the National Hurricane Center. So we have light winds aloft. And we also have very warm water here. These are warm cord systems. So uh, this is just going to kind of allow that to intensify as it continues to lift farther to the north over the next couple of days. So here in the short term, we are looking <clears throat> excuse me, at those significant impacts over Central America, again, over uh, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras. Some areas will pick up over a foot of rain. So life-threatening flooding is a possibility with that flooding, you can have mudslides. Also, rough surf is going to happen right along the coast, and we are looking at some local wind damage as well. Keep in mind, this could be a tropical storm, again, within the next 24 hours. So tropical storm warnings are in place along the coast of Honduras and also Nicaragua. So we are looking at some strong winds up to 74, 75 miles per hour. And then the track with this system, uh, again, right now, Potentially a tropical storm next 24 hours by the weekend. We will have to watch to see what will happen here in the southeastern portion of the United States. You can see the latest update has this potentially as a Category 1 hurricane. There's still going to be a lot of wiggle room over the next couple of days. We'll see this track shifting farther east, farther west. But if you live here in the southeast, make sure you're staying with us here on AccuWeather.com for the very latest because there will be rough seas and some very heavy rainfall by the end of the weekend.